In this video you will learn how a barcode reader works and be able to describe the steps needed for A-level or GCSE computer science. With a barcode scanner it generates a laser light which is an infrared light and that is shone at the barcode. Depending on what barcode scanner we use either the user moves the reader and points at the barcode or the user moves the barcode and ensures that the barcode is put in line with the reader. Either way it is initiated by the user. Inside the barcode there is a moving mirror or a prism and that moves the light beam across the barcode. In the top corner we can see there's an illustration of the barcode being used and probably many of you have used barcode scanners through self-service checkouts. When the infrared is shone at the barcode, light is then reflected back into these moving mirrors. Black reflects less light and white reflects more light. Inside the reader there is something called the CCD, the charged coupled device. This is basically a light sensor and this measures the amount of reflected light. So we can see on the diagram there's the barcode surface, there's the LED lights that shine red lights at the barcode and the reflected light comes back into the CCD. So the CCD measures that light. That measurement, that light charge, it's converted into an electrical charge. As we said, black reflects less, white reflects more, so they create different charges. The electrical charge is then converted into a binary code. Data is transmitted as binary codes from the barcode reader to the computer. The values are often sent as ASCII codes. The ASCII code is then used to look up in a database an example the product name and the price of the product and this is returned to the TIL or the point of sales system. Applications for barcodes basically there are many different types of barcodes. There are barcodes primarily used on products in order for us to get the price at a point of sale till e.g. you go to a big supermarket your products are scanned in and it tells the till what price that product is. There are other applications such as a QR code often known as a 3D barcode and these can be read to give a small message or a link to a URL. In summary, a barcode reader uses infrared light. This is shown at the barcode. There is a moving mirror, there's prisms. Light is reflected into the barcode. Black reflects less, white reflects more. A charge coupled device, a light sensor, measures the amount of reflected light. The reflected light is converted into an electrical charge. The electrical charge is converted into binary code. The binary code is transmitted to the computer, to the till, often represented as ASCII, and the products are returned. The barcode contains one more aspect, and that is known as the check digit. The check digit is something we've looked at in another part of the course, but this is a calculated digit. A weight is given to every other digit of the barcode, a calculation carried out such as ISBN 13, module 011 and the check digit is calculated. This is a self-checking mechanism. Thank you for watching, today you've been looking at how a barcode reader works.